Content Manager on Demand provides fast access to information stored in the system, dramatically improving account management productivity and customer self-service. In this video, a monthly statement has been received and reviewed by the customer. An issue has been identified and customer service has been contacted. The customer service representative, working directly with the customer, resolves and documents the issue and then analyzes the account history in order to identify additional programs that would benefit the customer. We begin with the customer, Carolyn Thomas, who has several accounts with the bank. She is enrolled in paperless billing and has received her monthly statements electronically. Carolyn opens her email and sees that links have been provided for her statement. She clicks on the link to review her monthly accounts. After verifying her credentials, Carolyn is automatically redirected to a page showing an overview of all her accounts, including checking, savings, her home equity loan, and a mortgage. She notices that her home equity loan statement for this month is higher than it should be, so she clicks on View to look at the details. Carolyn is able to see a breakdown of all activity on her account. She is also able to view past statements directly in the browser or download it as a PDF. She sees that her statement shows no payment on her home equity loan and a fee applied to the loan for that missed payment. She knows this is a mistake because she had deposited a check for the previous payment. Carolyn clicks on chat to open up an IM session with the customer service representative in order to explain her situation. As a customer service representative, Dave Adams is responsible for resolving customer issues in order to improve satisfaction, while also influencing the company's business results. Dave has gotten all the details he needs from Carolyn. After asking her to stay online, he opens up account management and searches for Carolyn Thomas using her account number. The search quickly yields a list of statements for Carolyn's loan account. Dave quickly sees the statement that will need to be reviewed for the missed payment. Dave opens Carolyn's statement to verify the details and confirms that she was indeed charged a late fee for a missed payment on her loan. To see where the problem could have occurred, Dave begins by doing a search for the transactions reports. These are computer-generated output of all transactions logged by the system. Dave opens the most recent customer transaction report and selects Find All to see all transactions related to Carolyn Thomas. The search returns a list of transactions related to Carolyn's accounts. From the transaction history, Dave notices that multiple payments have been made in the same month on the mortgage and that one of the payment amounts was for the same amount as mentioned by Carolyn. It seems like the additional payment should have been applied to her home equity loan rather than to her mortgage. He also notes that Carolyn writes a large number of checks on a monthly basis, making Carolyn a candidate for a new debit card program designed to minimize check usage. Dave wants to confirm the scan check in question, so he searches for checks with Carolyn's bank account number. He opens the applicable image and sees that Carolyn's payment was received, but as the account number was not listed on the check, it has been applied to Carolyn's mortgage. Having identified the issue, Dave begins the resolution process by creating an annotation on her current home equity loan statement. Dave brings up the chat window and explains the error to Carolyn and lets her know that he'll correct the error and remove the late fee from her account. He also comments that based on the volume of checks that she writes each month, there is a new debit card program with an attractive interest rate, which would also save on check fees. He asks if she would be interested in some additional analysis. Carolyn accepts this offer. He starts by finding all of Carolyn's monthly checking account statements, selecting them, and choosing Mine with RMS to begin his content analysis. Dave begins his analysis by viewing the key details from Carolyn's checking account grouping the statements by the number of transactions. At a glance, he could see that Carolyn uses her checking account quite often, which fits with the new debit card's intended usage. After viewing Carolyn's debit transactions, Dave clicks on the chart button to graphically display the data. From the generated graph, he observes that Carolyn's current usage pattern will easily meet the new card's usage requirements. Dave returns to the chat window, shows the usage graphic to Carolyn and recommends the new debit card program. She accepts the offer as it will provide additional income for her account and reduces the need to write checks. Carolyn thanks him for his help and ends the chat session. Dave needs to process the changes to Carolyn's current loan and add the new debit program for her checking account. To start the process, he needs to send an email to the accounts department. First he selects Carolyn's current loan statement and clicks on Send as Link this opens up a new email window. In the email, he documents resolution of Carolyn's payment error. In addition, Dave provides instructions for enrollment in the debit card program. 
All relevant documents are provided as links in the email. This keeps the content within the repository, reduces the overhead of sending attachments, and restricts access to only those with the correct permissions. In this video, we have shown how IBM Content Manager on Demand is used as an account management solution for the banking and financial services industry. Customers have access to their statements online 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, while businesses can quickly capture, access, manage, and mine their content across all systems to provide efficient and superior customer service. For further information, please contact IBM. Thank you.